It's your boy Roman Puss here with the next Romans review. Y'all asked for it, and I am returning your favor slash ax or yeah, something like that. And we got today, your boy, we're gonna be featuring the one, the only, the best mama's boy, Charlotte through Katakuri Sama. Now check me out. We still got a little bit of outfit on, and then check me out. Okay, I'm no artiste, but I'm a mother licking artiste. Let me tell you, I think it look pretty good. I think I, we feel pretty spicy, not gonna lie. Like, it feels pretty spicy. And then, okay, so I feel like I look kind of weird when I have like this, like this, but like, if I cover myself with like the scarf, like, I kind of look kind of spicy, you know? Like, if you just cover your mouth, you actually kind of look sick AF, not gonna lie. I mean, I could cover it in a cooler way, but yeah. So, anyway, today we're gonna go over the pros, the cons, and then rate Katakuri out of one to 10, how he plays in SS tier in the current season. Uh, season 35, 36, whichever one we're on right now. Something like that. 36, I think. Uh, or 37. I don't know. Somewhere around there. I can't keep track of the numbers. But see how he is. How he is. He's not what he used to be, that's for sure. But that's just because new people have come up with things. Like, new characters have come out that kind of bamboozles him. So, let's take a look and get into some gameplay on him. Alright, first things first. We're going to take a look and see what his stats be looking like. Now, his attack's pretty good. I have him full maxed. I've tried maxing him. I, like, went full whale. And like full ham when they came out, when Kata and Mama came out. It was mainly for Mama, but Kata was there too. And I was like, I really like Kata too. So I wasn't mad about getting him. So we got both of them. And yeah, we're chilling. We got my boy Kata. He's got pretty good stats, like the attack defense. I don't know. Honestly, the stat stats don't really matter too much. They just kind of affect overall other stuff. But like, it's like not the end of the world if you have like 10 less attack than another person. But yeah. Uh, today, I think I want to be running the beast mills. I actually want to try these out just because more skill too cooldown and I really like his skill 2 and in this current meta the skill 2 is a little more useful than a skill 1 so yeah let's take a look and see his overall skills he's got power and mochi uh makes the donuts appear and then go pop pop it's not as good because it's a little bit slower now but it does fat like pretty fat damage you'll generally one shot if you get both like punches off um I mean depending if it's like a blue character maybe not but uh pretty much any green character you'll usually one shot if you get both punches and you'll do it does pretty fat damage uh your next one rainfall mochi uh reduces their speed and does pretty fat damage like attacks like a good like multiple times so uh so skill attack 185 but i believe it i don't remember how many times it hits uh, let's see. Now, when receiving damage from an enemy, 2% chance to dodge without taking damage from a comforting effect. Really cool. I like it. They play to him, like, in the anime. Change down to a stagger effect. Really nice, too. Like, they really played this, they built this Kata, like, like, built him around, like, the anime. And I really love the way they did that. Uh, when an area around your enemy should increase damage result by 30%. That's normal for attackers. They usually have it. Uh, when receiving damage from an enemy, 100% chance to reduce cooldown time of dodge by 50%. That's really solid. So if you take two hits and then your dodge is back up, really nice. A lot of people have learned how to play against that now. So really it's not too useful anymore. But it was really good when it first came out. When your allies are not near the treasure area where you are at increased damage by 20%, pretty solid. Like, you go around, just be by yourself, and you can kill people. Uh, boost attack by 30% after using skill 1. If you use skill 1 into skill 2, it's really good. So, yeah. And then the other crit boost trait just from the damages. So, let's take a look and see how we play. X Max here, Loki Doki. Okay, okay. Let's see, lads. Rayleigh may be a little bit annoying. Uh, 
I shouldn't. I won't get knocked down during my skill one, so I could probably just skill one one of their skills and just whack them with that. Oh, we got two defenders. They got none. That's what I like to see. I could probably bamboozle Kaido pretty well. It's just I can't see. I hate those flags getting blocked in my way. Jeepers. That's right. Bamboozled you, nub. Get up out my way, snack man. All right, your skill one does like lots of fat deeps. Uh, skill two honestly does fat deeps too. Your skill two, if you use it when the enemy's taking a treasure, if you use it about halfway between the point where they're taking the treasure, you can like guaranteed hit them. Uh, I'm gonna. We should. I should honestly fight off of my treasure. All right, his. That's right, kid. He just he lollygagging around. Jeez, words. <laughs> All right, kill him, Blackbeard. What you doing, punk? Really? Oh, that's disgusting. That's a little nasty, not gonna lie. All right, watch the snack man. Watch the snack man. That really hit me. All right, watch the roofie, actually. That kid's just running at us. Alright, one down. One down. Oosh, oosh. Got one. Oosh. Got another one. Alright. Okay, Hawkins. I see you, Hawkins. Oosh. Okay, I hate Blackbeard. Oh, he's got a stagger thing. Whack him! Okay, get him, Kuma. Watch the Kaido. Easy does it, lads. Oh, he knocked him over there. That's not good. Okay, where's my... There we go. Whacking him! Whacking the moles! The poor... Whatchamacallit's name. Ikuka. Alright, let's get out of the Luffy range. We're not trying to get whacked by that Luffy. Oh, we got hit. Alright, wait. Kiji, Kiji, guard the treasure. Guard the treasure. Kiji, what are you doing? Kiji, where you been? We gotta swap. Kiji, are you gonna hit him? Kiji, what are you doing? Kiji. Come on. Ooh! All right, we win. Lord have mercy, Jeepers. This Kiji's just sitting there not attacking anybody. <laughs> I was like, probably just chilling there letting him take the treasure. Like, boy, you almost lost it. But it's okay. I mean, he might have gotten, like, auto lock. Like, it happens to me where you're, like, trying to hit someone and he might have just started attacking someone else. All right, we got Shanks, Shanks, Shanks. Oh. This is Katakuri's issue with this game and why he is no longer viable because you got people like Shanks, you got people like Blackbeard, you got people like... Honestly, Ace is kind of annoying to deal with just because of his counter. Like, he can just hold the counter for your skill too. Like, always. So as long as he, like, is smart about it, if he uses his counter, like, before that, then he should never use his counter against, like, your basic <laughs> <Okay, three. laughs> Shanks, yikes. We are three reds. That's a big yikes. See, and this is the issue. This is an issue. There's so many characters in this game, but yet three of one character are being played. Hmm. Sinking Moji. Sinking Moji. All right, come on. Let's go. Skip it about. Chiba, chiba, boop, ba, see, All right. Let's look for the shanks, 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 shanks. I hate the shankses, yes I really do. Anyone gonna waste their stuff on me? No one's wasting their stuff on me. I gotta just make sure they don't do their twist garbo stuff on me. I'm coming Katakuri-sama! Oh, yikes. I think they all just use their counters though. TVH. Whoosh! Whoosh! Killed something. 
got one. That's right, Shanks. That's right, kid. Okay, Boda Hankoku. Oh, we got Mama on the team. It's Mama and Katakuri Summer. All right. Ooh. Careful, lads. Easy does it. Watch the Kurohige. That's right, kid. You know who you're dealing with? Katakuri Summer. Katakuri beats Shanks. Easy. Easy, TBH. All right. Ooh, cabbage. Okay, trick off, Blackbeard. Museo! Get off me, kid! Bam! That's right! I ain't playing! I wanna get this. Oh! Yes, okay. Woo! Child, watch the those. Okay. Do with oh, we got someone dealing with the shanksu. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh, I got him. Kind of. Don't have- Oh my god, of course he had it. He literally just barely got that. Alright. Okay, that works. I don't think so, bro. I need a health. Mama get in there. Mama get in there and bamboozle. Zeus! Who this over here? I'll get him, Hancocku. Huh. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, we need another flag. Hello? We need another flag. We're losing this? I wouldn't be able to take those anyway. I guess I could go to the other one, but... No! Oh, that one was actually going pretty well for all Shanks's? I'll take it. But that kid is playing Hancock. That kid, if that kid was not playing Red Hancock... What is this? Why are you playing Red Hancock? Level 90? What are you doing? Hello? <laughs> no, don't play that here. That's not welcome here. Oh, yikes. Okay. Alright, that score is pretty bad, though. I'll take it, though. We should have won that. If it, he played not Hancock, especially, like, not even level 100 Hancock, we were good. Alrighty. So that is our Katakuri-sama gameplay. Uh, he is nothing to what he once was. His skill one... You used to be able to bait people's dodges out, and since when he came out, no one had counters or anything. If you just baited their dodge out, you automatically could just use your skill one, and they were pretty much dead. It was like, basically. So it was a free kill. Um, a lot of things have changed since then, since we have, like, three people with counters. We have people like Rayleigh who can, like, if they do perfect dodge, because his abilities are easy to perfect dodge. So if you perfect dodge, Rayleigh could, like, get some fat damage on him, too. Um, Shanks, Blackbeard typical yada yada it is what it is uh now pros and counters or pros and cons whatever uh his pros fat damage he's like his really really fat damage is actually insane um on both his abilities like you could probably one shot a lot of people with both abilities and since they are both aoe it's really nice um his basic attacks are really really good super far range try and use like the one two and then one two three i think you only get four hits so you'll generally only get one two one two um and yeah, so basic attacks are really good. They're super good range. And the next one is he has like that fat dodge cooldown that gives him like, he gets hit twice and then he gets his dodge back up. So really good. Uh, always like fairly amount has his dodge back up and yeah. Uh, now his cons, super, super squishy. He's like, it's really not that hard to kill him if you're smart. Like you can love tap him and he's kind of dead. He doesn't have, if he had that like thing that prevents him at one HP, it'd be really good. He'd be able to get more things off probably. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be too much of a game changer, but it'd be nice. Um, well, his abilities are, at this current time and current day and age, his abilities are becoming too slow. Uh, he's becoming like way weaker than what he was, and he's just not what he used to be. So his skills are pretty fairly slow. Uh, next thing, I don't know if, this can, if I can count this as a direct counter, but honestly, just Blackbeard and Shanks, you almost stand no chance against. It's just really rough. 
just because they will almost always be able to one-shot you, provided they have damage. Like, Blackbeard, if he ever sees you're about to do your skill 1, he just holds a skill 2 for your skill 1 and then kills you. Otherwise, he can just, fit, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat you. And, yeah, so that's our boy, Katakuri. Now, out of 1 to 10, how good is he? I did a previous Romans review on him, and I think it's actually very inaccurate. I should have brought him up. He's very inflated of a rate. I would definitely go lower on him. He's probably... Honestly, I think is as low as like a 6.4 out of 10. He's very much weaker compared to what he was. Now, prior to Blackbeard Shanks, I would say he was like still like 9 point something. But just now that there's so many other things, and the counters, like Urush, honestly, I think Urush would be really good against him. Just people like that. And like, you saw how like uh, Sengoku, I don't know, you don't do too much damage to Sengoku. You can do damage, but like not that much. And yeah, so overall, like 6.5 out of 10, I think is a valid. Um, some of you may disagree with me. I get he still can do fat damage. In the hands of a really, really good player, he's going to be like really solid. But there's just other characters that you could play without having to be as good that you can just bamboozle with. So that's kind of where it is. So don't hate me. That's just where I think he is. Like he's nothing compared to what he was before. And yeah, so that's all I have for you guys. That's my Romans review. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe if you like the video. And I hope you guys like the cosplay too. Like, we took some time. Oh, just look at that. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, so, and yeah, share the video if you guys really like it. Yeah, I put a lot of time and effort. Ooh, lots of time painting this, like, up. Uh, this painting, this stuff. Like, I have the stripes too. And yeah, so it's really fun. Really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm the boy Roman Puss, and we're going to be taking off. Yeah, holly! Peace, beautiful people.